Picture this, a world on the cusp of extraordinary change, and at its center, a boy named Albert Einstein, born on March 14, 1879, in Ulm, in the kingdom of Württemberg, Germany, to a secular Jewish family. His father, Hermann, ran an electrochemical factory, while his mother, Pauline, nurtured his budding passions for music and science right from the start. Not long after, in 1880, the family packed up and moved to Munich, where young Albert began attending the Leuitpold Gymnasium. But he chafed under its rigid structure, later claiming it stifled his creativity. Then came a pivotal moment at age five, when his father showed him a compass, and that simple device ignited a lifelong fascination with invisible forces. By 1894, business pressures pulled the family to Italy, but Albert stayed behind in Munich to finish school. Soon after, he joined them, renouncing his German citizenship to dodge military service. Formal education never quite fit him, he struggled there, but he thrived in self-study. That drive led him to brief preparatory schooling in Aarau before enrolling at the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich in 1896. Amid the lectures and labs, he forged lifelong friendships and met Malva Merrick, whom he married in 1903. They had three children, though their marriage ended in divorce in 1919. Graduating in 1900, Einstein faced a harsh reality, unemployment. It wasn't until 1902 that he landed a steady post at the Swiss Pat office in Bern, where the routine stability freed his mind to wander into uncharted territories. The wander it did. What followed was his miracle year of 1905, a burst of genius that produced four groundbreaking papers on the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, special relativity, and mass energy equivalents. These weren't just ideas, they revolutionized physics, challenging Newtonian mechanics and laying the foundations for quantum theory and modern cosmology. By 1909, Einstein's star was rising fast. He held academic positions in Zurich, Prague, and Berlin, where he developed general relativity, publishing it in 1915. Then came the confirmation that changed everything, observations of the 1919 solar eclipse, which catapulted him to global fame overnight. Committed pacifist and Zionist, Einstein navigated the turbulent interwar years with sharp criticism of nationalism and militarism. But the rise of Nazism in the early 1930s forced his hand. He emigrated to the United States in 1933, settling at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. He became a United States citizen in 1940, while retaining his Swiss nationality. In his later years, Einstein poured his energy into unifying gravity and electromagnetism, though those efforts proved unsuccessful. He voiced deep ethical concerns over the atomic bomb, regretting his 1939 letter to President Roosevelt that had spurred its development. As a cultural icon, he championed civil rights, nuclear disarmament, and even world government. Einstein's remarkable journey ended on April 18, 1955, in Princeton, from engordic aneurysm at the age of 76. His legacy endures as the quintessential genius who reshaped our understanding of space, time, and the universe.